All right, welcome back to another Slicker devlog. So, last week the game was not uh, there was not that much done to it. Um, we've definitely worked a lot more on it the last week, um, and I'm gonna do this video just live. So, uh, hopefully it goes all right. But let's just get right into it. So, a couple of things we've added. We've enabled touchscreen. Touchscreen does work right now. The game isn't ported to any mobile devices or iPad or anything like that so technically you can't really use the touchscreen unless you have like a laptop or something that does have touchscreen um, but if you did it would work otherwise it just uses the mouse that will come uh, it's just not done right now uh, a couple other things we've added some more menu options so I'll just quickly go through that we've got a controls menu so you can see arrow keys WSD enter to use the items and to use the flashlight uses the mouse. Flashlight isn't unlocked by default. We also have a volume con uh, controller now, so you can control the master volume or the music separately, the sounds separately. So that is just a nice feature to have. Um, then we have also have some extras menus. So we have trade, trunk, tome. Trunk right now is gonna be where you do, do character customization. That is not currently, there's nothing there. You see it's just blank. Uh, inside the tome, we have archives, which is going to be where you track your achievements and little um, bits of like lore, things that you've collected while you play through the game. That will all be within archives. Cards are going to be your collectibles that you can find in the game. And as you unlock cards, you uh, learn a little bit about of whatever is on that card. So it could be anything from character from a different game I made, just like a little Easter egg that I put in, or... Uh, some type of lore, things like that. Um, that's just going to be things that you can collect by playing as well. But they'll be archives are more like achievements, and cards are more like unlock, uh, more like objects that you find. And we also have stats. We got a lot of stats to find. So this is all the stats that we have right now. We are still going to be adding more, but we have a couple of things like power on count, steps taken, um, total teeth collected. Teeth is the currency in our game teeth missed so every time you miss a teeth a tooth and you don't pick it up it does it does um, track that tracks your deaths by different characters um, and then the modes that you've unlocked um, right now they're both set to false because it's a pretty new save um, then let's go uh, let's just go right into it so I'll go ahead and start the game up you can see right now I have seven teeth and the highest score I've gotten is four I'll go actually I'll go to the trade menu first so you can see i have seven teeth these are all the items that you can buy i'll buy a kindling so i can show you how that works and if we are lucky enough to get 25 teeth maybe i'll show you that we're not going to be able to get 50 teeth today because that uh it does take a little bit of time and it is a lot easier once you unlock the flashlight um which i'm not going to tell you when you unlock that but the flashlight when you unlock that getting teeth becomes significantly easier so we'll go ahead and start up a game we'll just make our way through the dungeon for a little while so like I said in the last game, this is all procedurally generated. So every time you play, you're going to get a different dungeon. You're not going to be able to memorize the locations of everything. Um, you can see I'm getting chased by what we call crawlers. They make a clicking sound, so you can always hear them coming in the dark before you see them. It's pretty close, but once you hear them, you know basically to run away from their direction. On these first couple level levels, that's the only enemy you're going to encounter. Um, there is no combat in this game, so the only thing that you can do is run. Just hope that you aren't caught. We're going to go ahead and go over here. There's the exit right there. So that's the exit. That's going to take you to the next level. So you can see we're on floor three now. Uh, we have two teeth and we have that kindling. So now you're going to start hearing some breathing in the background. That's actually what we call stalkers. So they are close by but they're never gonna get closer than about that. Um, so if I move farther away and I sit here for a second and come back down, they're following me. They're always following you. They're more of an obstruction than anything else. And um, they just get in your way. They can pop up out of nowhere. Sometimes it seems like. So this is a perfect time to show off the kindling. You see my light is pretty dim. I'm barely seeing everything as I'm moving around. If I go ahead and press the enter button, you'll see my light gets expanded. I can see significantly farther and there's a little flame in the top right corner showing that my kindling is activated. That's gonna last for 30 seconds, so it's not too long. Um, and then if you die or you enter a new level, that's gonna also reset your kindling. So we'll just go ahead and run through one more really quick. 
just see uh, if we can collect enough for another kindling. And we'll go back to the store, get another one. We just need two more teeth. So there is an end to the game. Um, that is, you'll know because you'll hit credits. I'm not going to tell you how far, but it is achievable, especially once you start getting some of the upgrades. Okay, I can't play and talk, I guess, at the same time. But especially once you start getting some of these upgrades, like the Sonic Hearing definitely helps out a lot. Um, unlike Kindling, Sonic Hearing and Compasses, once you get them, they last until your next death. So you will have them until your next death or um, if you quit the game uh, in the middle of a run. So if you if you buy it and then you quit the game, you're fine. But if you start a run, it's going to start using that item and you will lose it if you exit the game or if you die. So, you know, wait until you have um, a couple of kindling to kind of back you up in increasing your vision a little bit further. They definitely help in conjunction with the others, but you can use all three at the same time. Um, you can get as many of each as you want and take them in, but the sonic hearing and the compass, they are gonna last you an entire life. So those are definitely a lot easier to use, but they are much more expensive. Um, like I said, kindling only lasts for one level, for one floor, or for 30 seconds, whatever comes first. So those are a dwindling resource. But yeah, that's what we have right now. Archives and cards are currently being worked on. There's nothing in there right now. It's just a black screen. And um, and then the trunk is also being worked on. So hopefully we'll have those out later this week. So the next devlog that you'll see is probably going to be the release, the official release of the demo. And we're going to have all those things in. We're going to have, um, like I said, flashlight mode and endless mode are currently in the game. They're unlockable through gameplay. And that's what we have right now. So I'm really excited for you guys to check it out a little bit more when we drop it next week. And hopefully you all enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments, things you'd like to see for the official release, or even if I can get it in during the demo, please make sure you uh, comment below what you want to see. I will read all the comments that are on the video. Thank you so much for checking this out, and I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks.